Hey guys and welcome to our channel. We're currently in Rains Park, which is a short drive from Wimbledon. It's around eight miles from central London. So this area is quite well located. We are outside a four floored, four bedroom, three and a half bathroomed house. So we're really looking forward to showing you this house. It's on the market for 1.249 million pounds. And thank you to the listing agent for allowing us to see this property. So first off, this place is a gated community. You have to enter a key code to enter it. So it's extremely safe. We're just gonna walk into the property. So if you just follow me. So the first thing you notice about this property is the amount of space. So this floor is engineered oak flooring. And throughout the house, it has underfloor heating as well. So you'll be sure to keep your feet warm. Oh, I was also gonna say, um, you do have a, um, a phone over here, I guess an intercom to, you know, answer the phone when anyone's coming in. And look at this door, guys, it's so nice. Really, really nice. nice, I like how they have the privacy glass over there. Mm. So we'll put the floor plan as well in the video. This space is around 1,950 square foot just for context, but Mel will put the floor plan so you can figure out where we are. So right now, we are in the study, or you can call it an office space. As you can see, the way they've staged it, they've put a, a desk there with twin drawers as well. So you can imagine working from home with your laptop, you can put a chair here, and you can literally fit another desk as well because this study is quite spacious. So you can definitely fit another one here, again, with a chair as well. So you can have two people working in this study room. So now you're gonna see this half bathroom. Remember when I said three and a half? This is the half. So this is a toilet uh, with a sink as well and a mirror. And it also has a towel rack. This is great for guests. Imagine bringing in people. They don't have to necessarily go all the way upstairs to use the other bathrooms. They can use the toilet right here. So we're just going to head to the utility room now, also known as the cloak room. So if you just look beyond this door, you can see um, a tumble dryer as well as a washing machine. Let me just turn on the light. It's pretty spacious, so you can definitely get like a coat rack here. You know those hanging ones that you can screw into the wall and hang up your coats for your guests. So yeah, it's a good amount of space and it's really uh, practically used as well because it's hidden away. Yeah, don't mind our stuff over there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Another cool feature about this property is the thermostats as well. So you can control the heating from these uh, thermostats. Yeah, they're literally everywhere around the property, so it's really cool. Yeah, it's quite a few of them. So we're going to head into the reception room. Wow. 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 Just, just let this soak in. The first thing I notice about this room is how high the ceilings are. It makes it extremely spacious. You may not be able to see on the camera, but honestly, they're really high. I love the LED spotlights as well, but you don't necessarily need them today because look at the amount of sunlight that is coming in through these doors. As you can see, the garden is just beyond, so it has an incredible view. And I love the way they've staged this place. You have an Ottoman puff, as well as an L-shaped sofa as well. So you can just imagine sitting here with your friends or your family, you can literally I put up a TV there as well and have your flat screen there, watching some Netflix or whatever you do, maybe a movie. Or oh, hey you, because I'm into reality TV right now. Yeah, all that. <laughs> I love the sofa chairs behind you as well. Again, the staging of this room is extremely immaculate. So we're just about to head into the garden now. Wow. This is really wide. As you can see how they've staged it, they've put two garden chairs here as well. You can easily put a barbecue here as well. Just imagine in the summer months, if you want to have a barbecue with your friends or your family, and you've got this kind of grass part as well, this patio grass. It's cut, it's low. You can have some garden seats here. Maybe have a football out here if you're into your sports. It's a really good amount of space. You can just imagine your young kids running around, your cousins or your children, whoever is here. And if you just look downstairs, we're going to go there later, but that is, the basement of this house, which leads to the garden. So as I was saying earlier, the floor is engineered oak wood. And what it does is it gives it extreme stability. This floor is really hard and sturdy. And you can just tell how well built 
this home is. So we're gonna walk into this bedroom here. Again, the floor plans will be in the video so you can follow along with us. I love this space. As you can see, you've got this gray carpet on the floor with the white painted walls. It's a real minimalistic feel. And you've got these really cool uh, bay windows. So as you can see, these are windows looking out to the front yard, but they've cut out this section. They're called bay windows. So you can just put some pillows there. You can even sit down if you want, put some planters or maybe some books. It's a real good use of space. Open up this here. This is an uh, inbuilt wardrobe and the lights, they automatically turn on. So you can hang your clothes here. You can get a, a rack here. You can maybe even get some low drawers as well. So now if we just head to the bathroom, I love these white porcelain tiles with the gray streaks. It really gives this bathroom some character and personality. As you can see, you've got your mirror cabinet here as well. And I believe there's a button just on the side to turn off the LED light. Again, this opens up, you can keep all your uh, belongings there. You've got your vanity sink with a drawer space underneath as well, which is really uh, practical. And you also have your towel rack and your bath and shower unit as well. All right, so walking through this corridor, you can see how spacious it is. I love how there's some plugs there as well, where you can plug in anything you need. You can literally put a drawer here as well. There's enough space for it. Wow. So this room is a little bit more spacious than the other one, as you can tell. You've got your double bed staged here as well with two uh, bedside drawer units. And I love, again, the bay windows. You can literally stand here, maybe not stand up, I am pretty tall, um, but you can see just how much things are in this room, how spacious it is. You've got your LED spotlights above and the white painted walls. It gives it a really luxurious feel. Again, you have the wardrobe just beyond here as well. And I believe there's actually another one in this bedroom. Let me just move this out the way. Yep, so you can call this a his and hers. Then you have the ensuite just here. Similar to the other bedroom, uh, similar tiles, and then you have your mirror cabinet. This is such a large walk-in shower as well. You have this rain shower head, uh, which is hidden by the way. And you also have the handheld shower unit as well. Okay guys, so I'm taking over and we'll show you the rest of the floors. We are going to the top floor right now, so come with me. We do have a spacious, you know, mini corridor over here. But what I'm so excited to show you guys is that we actually have two bedrooms and one bathroom. So let's get on to the first bedroom. <sighs> Another thing to mention guys, those stairs take the wind out of you. This is such a lovely sized room. You could defo fit a double bed here. I would actually even put a king or even be even cheeky enough to put a super king over here and then probably put a wardrobe over here. You're getting so much light with this huge window, which I really love. And I love how they've painted everything white and just put the skylight. So it's literally a blank canvas for you to, you know, zhuzh up the way you would like. So into the second bedroom we come. Guys, look how ridiculously huge this is. I could literally put two double beds in here. It's crazy. You get so much room. I think this is probably the biggest room in the whole entire house. Yeah, yeah so um, it's just like, for me, when I see this, I'm like, I just want to do so much. Like I could fit a really good sized bed. I think a king in here, I would prefer, and then have like an area, an office area or vanity area, and then have like some wardrobes as well, and even have like a sofa. What do you guys, what would you guys do in this room? Tell me what you would do, because I'm so, there's just so, it's so much space, like you just want to do everything. Let me show you guys the middle room, which is actually a bathroom. Check this out. This is the bathroom to share for the two bedrooms upstairs. You get a bath over here, and I think this is a bath with a shower head, so you can just use the shower head. Um, so it's kind of like a half shower, half bath, because it's not actually a shower, but 
it kind of is. And then um, as you see in the other bathrooms, you have the LED light and a cabinet. You have also your sink with the cabinets and also your toilet and towel rack. Let me show you the best part of this flat. The thing that literally shocked me. Let's go to the lower ground floor. Okay guys, just to make sure that you guys get your bearings correct, we are back at the main door. If you just look over over there, we're back at the main door. And obviously that was a study that we showed you. So if you come just down the corridor a bit, you will notice that there's a set of stairs that takes you to the basement, otherwise known as the lower ground floor. Over here, this looks like it would actually be a room, but it's actually not a room, it's just literally... Like a, a mains unit for the Yeah, a mains unit. I mean, it does have a bit of storage space, I'm not going to lie, but... Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's that. Let me take you guys to what is known as the kitchen slash dining room. So that's what's unique about this property. They have the kitchen on the bottom floor. Take this kitchen in. Look how humongous this is. Like, I don't know where to start. There's so much to take in. You've got porcelain tile flooring going all the way through the kitchen. It is literally just epic. We have, you know, dark brown woods coming in with some lighter browns, giving you that cozy, classic, but elegant look. There's so much to take in here, guys. Okay, first of all, you've got the Simmons induction hob. And everybody knows Simmons. We love a good Simmons around here. And we also have a wine fridge over here, which is always handy to have. Guys, you can't have a million pound house and not have a dishwasher. Oh, guys, oh, I need to go back to the gym because my muscles are not really it today. But we have a Simmons dishwasher over here. What I found so cool when I was exploring this kitchen is that I found that they have a quite snazzy bin area. I think this is a bin? Yeah. Cool. yeah. So you can recycle here, have a bit for recycling, have a bit for your normal stuff, and you still have like two other pots maybe for like, um, to make it kind of like a food bin. There's just ample amount of storage, guys. I can't even take you through the amount of storage. There's literally, just look how much storage. Like, I can't even, <laughs> literally so much. And I really like how they stationed it with this kind of like gold um, wine glasses that are really just, you know, just, just matches the elegant vibes that this kitchen is kind of going for. And guys, look at this. We don't just only have a Sims microwave, we've got a Sims oven, baby. We've got literally everything you need. And what literally threw me, literally blew my mind, because I've never seen this before, is they have a full size freezer. Isn't that crazy? Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And then we didn't finish there because we still got some storage space on the top. That's crazy, guys. And if they had that, you know they had to have a full size floor to ceiling. Is this a floor to ceiling? I don't know. These ceilings are quite high. So I would say floor to ceiling fridge. Isn't that just epic? That's how you get your money's worth, okay? Because when I'm paying 1.2 mil, you'd want a full size exactly. and freezer. Exactly, I want all my food to be held in here. And you've got way more, you've got more storage on the bottom and at the top. And let's just go casually, just seamlessly into this living area, which could also be a dining area. You could have this as a dining area, more um, um, formal dining area and then have, you know, the living room area for you and your family upstairs. It depends what you want to do with this. But this is like probably one of my dream family homes because look how much space you have. Look at this sofa. Oh my God. This is actually the biggest sofa I've ever seen, I think. The longest one, it's just so long, like seriously so long. And what's really cool is that you can actually take out, look, you can take out these Ottomans. I think they're called Ottoman chairs. And then roll them back in and there's like four. So it's just such an inviting area that you would want you and your family to all hang out and maybe do different entertainments. Like you can even probably just make this the place where everyone just eats really on this yeah, place. Yeah, it's big and enough. like play Monopoly. There's so much to do. I really love this chair. 
This chair is so cute. Isn't this, oh my God, adorable, adorable, adorable. <laughs> oh, I should show you that there is this storage area. It's cheeky. It is cheeky, but it is there. Look at that. Yeah, you can tell there's a lot of space in this. So house. much space. It like, it never runs out. I'm like, I literally feel like I've seen it and then there's more. And guys, just just taking this, I think it's called a bifold, bifold doors. But um, CJ was saying it's tri-fold doors, but guys mm. comment down below in the comments whether you think it's a bi <laughs> or tri-fold doors. But guys, look at this, it's huge. And I'm so tall guys, and this is like huge, okay? And you can open this all the way out. You would think that we would finished. But no, you have your own private terrace area. This is, isn't this insane? This is insane, guys. Seriously, obviously right now, <laughs> the leaves have got to it a bit, but guys, this is such an amazing area that you can have to just chill with your friends and stuff in the summer, invite people over, family over. There's just, this is such a great place just to hang out and entertain so many guests. It's just a beautiful place. And I just love how you can add some like fairy lights, some different lightings to make the mood even more, you know, just cozy and warm in the evening. So guys, as I said before, this is the lower ground floor. So these stairs actually take you back to the garden area. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour. Make sure you guys comment down below what you think about this place. Is this your dream home? Is this somewhere where you would wanna live and you would wanna spend 1.2 million? Let us know down below in the comments. And also, don't forget to watch one of our other luxury property tours. But anyways guys, thank you so much for touring with us and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.